Hey Libra, Everlong Mystic here. Today we're going to do a see, hear, speak reading. I'm going to look at what is seen, what is heard, what is spoken, and then um, what is not. Now there is a chance at a bonus reading for you, Libra. I am... Going to I'm going to roll this at the end, and for those of you that have been here a while, you know what this means. And if you don't know what this means, then stick around to the uh, till the end, and you will find out. All right. So, Libra, what is seen? What is seen? Oh, we have the Emperor here. Wow, this is a lot. I'm I'm definitely seeing some <clears throat> some past struggles here that have been overcome. So I want to say Libra that you are seen as just like a very strong person. Like you you're you've been you've been through a lot. And you and I feel like I don't know you you care there's caring. It's like, there's like this little family down here. It's like you, you've struggled and been through so much and you really care for you. Like, like you've got this little, I don't know, like a close knit group that you care for. It could very well be just your nuclear family or whatever, but, or, you know, a friend group or something, but it's there. I see it. All right. So scene, what else is seen for Libra? We have the Six of Pentacles here, and it's, it's, I don't get the, the normal Six of Pentacles vibe here. To me, it, it actually seems a little bit more magician-y here, just with all of the, all the, all the planets. You've got, like, the Moon, you've got Venus, you've got Mercury, Jupiter, Saturn. Like, there is more, there's more at play here than just what is seen. There's more, there's more at play here than just what is seen. <laughs> and you have the back of the Four of Pentacles here. Again, you've got, you have another, this is so weird, Libra, you have another figure sitting and we're looking at the back, right? And there's just moon and stars all over. You've got, there is something to do with planetary alignments that is, I mean, it's, it's part of, this is what's seen, right? So it's, it's like you, either you are seeing some some very significant things when it comes to just planetary alignments or this is what's seen this is how you are seen because here i'm just seeing like this is this is more of the alignment just the way that these pentacles are lined up in the sky here it's like there's it's like you you see the the phases or the uh, something like that but here, the way that this person is sitting in the chair and looking out at these pillars here, to me, it feels like seeing the future. I don't, I don't know. It's just seeing the future. That's what it, that's what it feels like to me, seeing the future. So what is not seen? Oh, this is really interesting, Libra, because you have this figure. I mean, this is him, right? Him, he, she, whatever. <clears throat> Looking down at this whole village. 
And what I'm getting from this is that what is not seen is just how much of an effect you have on everyone. I don't, I don't think you, you see this. Others may not see it either. It's like it's, it, it, the, the effect is bigger than you. Oh, wow. This is, this is like really, it's weird. It's like, this is really, um, this does not feel like anything like the Four of Pentacles at all. This is very, like, kind of wizardy, but it's like, it's, it's super calm. It's like this calm knowing. And, and just with this, this, whatever this figure, it, to me, it reminds me of like a, what is it called? It's labyrinth. It reminds me of a labyrinth where you, you know, you start at the edge and you go in and you go through and go around and go through till you get to the center. And the center is where the answer is. And that's exactly where the top of his head is. Like his crown chakra is sitting right here at the answer. Which means that, Libra, there are things that you can tap into, things that you know that that there's no way other people would be able to see this about you. It's just like, it just is kind of thing. Yet you're, you use this, you are able to see into the future, yet you still don't know just how profound an effect you have on, on others. All right, herd. What is herd? Oh, we got tower. We got tower here. It's weird. It's almost like seeing the aftermath of the tower. It's like you still see a little bit of the clouds, but the but there's they're light. They're not dark clouds. They're they are not lightning producing clouds. There's there's light. It's like the the light after the storm, kind of, that's, that's what is heard. And because there's several birds here, it's like, that's what, I want to say that's what's heard about you. That's what people are saying, you know, when they're talking about Libra. The light after the storm, I definitely need more information about that. So we have Seven of Cups, and then we have Judgment. Wow, this is really cool. So the Seven of Cups here, Libra, this is like... This is like the many ways that you bring... I want to say bring happiness, just because of that smile right there. It's like the many ways... It's like... What is heard is like you, you hear, you hear these things, you hear about the many ways that you can bring happiness, yet you're still not aware just how profound the effect is though. But your arms are open here, which is really nice because you're receptive to that. And that's, you know, that, that whole six of pentacles thing that, you know, give and receive. It's like, you're willing to give, you're willing to receive. Which is really nice and balanced of you, Libra. It's like, I don't know, there's so there's so many readings and so many times where it's like Libra isn't isn't in balance. It's weird because you're you're like I balance, but it's like it's always this search for balance. It's a search. It's a trying and trying and when I see you here, it's like you you do you do have you do have balance here. Wow, people really look up to you. I, I'm just really getting that from this card right now for you, Libra, is that people do look up to you. <clears throat> 
as long as as long as this isn't something that just like goes to your head, you know, inflates your head or as long as it doesn't feed your ego too much, this is beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so what is unheard? What is unheard? Wow, I'm just getting what do I do with this? What do I do with this? So you keep this to yourself, Libra. If you ever are confused, it's like you have this this way of being super put together. And whenever you're not put together, you keep that to yourself. It's like when you're when you feel alone, when you feel confused, when you don't know what's you know, like when you don't like when you can't when you feel like you can't see the future. You feel like you don't have this effect or whatever, you don't you don't help enough or something, it's like you keep that to yourself. It's like what do I do? It's like you keep your doubts, you keep your doubts to yourself. People don't hear this about you. They don't hear about your doubts. And they don't hear about where they came from either. This, this, I'm just getting this, this feeling of origin with this card here, this judgment card, just like with this egg and the skull, it's like, or I'm just feeling origin. People don't hear about where, like the origin of, of these things that you keep to yourself. All right, Libra, spoken. So what do you say? What do you say, Libra? The world. <laughs> I love it. I love it. You speak of the world, Libra. That is so cool. And you're just right in that gate. You're just right in that gate of the world and you, you will speak of it. You will speak of the gate of the world. That is so cool. Oh, that moon almost wanted to come out. That was a big old dump, Libra. Hold on. Ugh. Okay. Just dumped a bunch of cards. What is this? That's the three of wands. Wow, oh, look at, I'm just really intrigued by this wand here. This one is not like the others. It's weird. It's like, um, I don't know, like this, this whole water and fire here. It's like the blending of it. It's very, it's very temperancy. I don't know what this is. And like what, there's carvings or light codes or something on this staff. And I don't know, I don't really know what it represents. Maybe I'm not supposed to know. But it's like you're, you're able, whatever energy, I don't know what this staff is, Libra. Whatever this energy is with these light, light codes here that you're holding, it's like you're able to... It's weird. It's like you're able to draw them in and like reveal them or explain them. Explain them. You're able to explain them. That's what is spoken. And that's that's something that you can bring to the world. And I want to say Libra that it's not like super fancy. It's not super fancy. It's not like you go into some weird trance and dance around and, you know, it, it's, there's, you don't, you don't, you don't make a production of it. It's like, it just kind of happens. It just happens. 
I, I feel like that's how, like you speaking this out into the world, I feel like that's how you have such a profound effect on others without even knowing it. Because it's not like, you, you may not even be trying to do this. I don't know if you've ever listened to like, you know, watch a video or listen to someone and they're talking even in person, just, they're just talking about regular everyday stuff yet you can, there's a part of you that can tell that there's something else being kind of emitted, you know, and it could be, you know, positive or negative, but it's like that, that's what this feels like. All right, I don't think there's, we're not getting, we're not getting this card. All right, what is, um, so what is unspoken? <sighs> what is unspoken? Aw. Okay, so I'm, I'm just getting a little bit of loneliness here and wondering what's next. And it's interesting how it's next to this card here. And again, so like what, what people don't hear about you and what they don't, they don't hear it because you don't say it. You don't say, you don't talk about when you're lonely. You don't talk about when, when things just seem so far out of your reach. You just keep that to yourself. All right, Libra. Okay. This is your reading. We're going to roll and see if you get a bonus. Left, you do, you get a mystical shaman. All right, you get mystical shaman. Let's see, what what does Libra, what does Libra need to know? Maybe that's why we didn't get this card because it's supposed to be a mystical shaman. All right, for Libra, what does Libra need to know? Oh, there we go. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Look at you. You have the hummingbird and the lower world. <sighs> the hummingbird. This is that profound effect that you have on people, Libra. This is, this is beautiful. And it's like with the hummingbird, you know, and like that whole nectar thing where there's tons of flowers and there's enough for everyone. You know what I mean? Like there is enough nectar. And, and it's like, you know this for others, but you need to know this for yourself as well, Libra. There is enough nectar for you. It's like, you know there's enough nectar, but it's like you think of that, you know, with, with others. And then we have the lower world. And these are these, these dark places. This is, you know, this is kind of, I wonder if this is actually the source of of some of this right here for you. You can bring, you can bring sweetness to, to the darker spaces, Libra. And it's 31 and 26. All right, Libra. This is your reading. I thank you for embracing your inner mystic and I'll see you next time. Bye, Libra.